and welcome to part seven. So we're going to dive straight into it with the next boiler room. Ball and chain's back as well, so I just thought I should let you all know that. Hi guys! <laughs> so obviously we start off by going to the other side and creating a doorway first. So each of these rooms now are very, very similar to each other. You should really start picking up the hang of how to do stuff now. Um, so we're going to start off, should have started off by taking the decking out like we have done in the previous ones, but I realised I used the wrong brick on the side walls. Um, so if you want to start with the side walls in this one, it's just, it's two blocks out from the wall. And then just keep building them up until you get to the end. The end. <laughs> get to the end. I think I probably I think I put the wrong brick in because uh, William was actually on yesterday, and I was just showing him how I mapped the rooms out. I think I ended up using the wrong brick. Either that or he's he was the one that mapped this one out. Actually, I think. So I'll forgive him for that. So yeah, you take this out. I have previously mentioned this as the all up deck in the previous videos, but it's actually a G deck. We don't have the flooring in this part. So I'm hoping to get this video on tonight. It's currently Thursday um, because we have that storm on the way, don't we? Mm. That storm Eunice. Um, it could create some power cuts and it would be just my luck that we got power cuts. Yeah. <laughs> and I won't be able to finish this off and I won't be able to upload it. So just in case, I'm going to get this one on tonight. Um, so your white walls go up to the red bit like usual. Uh, the top block is replaced by your platform block. And then it's just a case of filling the side walls in. Um, I'm going to start speeding these bits up from now on because um, you know what you're doing and it saves time in the videos. So like in the previous video, um, the platform on this side, on the side pieces are only too thick. Um, later on in the video, I did decide to try to put the white walls in on them bits, thinking that I'd forgot in this one and the previous room. Um, but we can't actually have the white walls, and you'll see why later on in the video. Um, so it's at this point, really, if you wanted to, you could get away with pulling the wall away from the red bit by one more block and then you could have your white wall up top um, but that's entirely up to you it depends how much you want that white wall in really so same again I'm just going to speed this bit up so again just too thick and then from this point we're going to move on to the coal bunkers. So don't forget to put your coal in as well, um, like usual, because I'm going to speed these bits up as well. Because it's pretty much the same throughout every single um, boiler room really. You just do your three at the side. Um, I do change these blocks over because it is the completely wrong block. And now I know for a fact it was William that planned these out because he had a different block on, on his inventory. It's no problem. Just because he hadn't been on for a while. He was wondering how I'd planned them all out and stuff like that. And I said, it's actually quite simple to plan them out, really. Slacking. Slacking, indeed. <laughs> no, he's, he's going to be... I think he's over this way on Sunday. Um, we're hoping to get on with the reciprocating engine room at that point. Uh, because that room, I can safely say we are kind of dreading that one. Well, you've seen it, haven't you? Like yeah, yeah, The full yeah. room. It's, you kind of don't know where to start at the minute, but we'll get it figured out, don't worry. Uh, so it is over Sunday, so I'm, I'm trying to get the boiler rooms done, like before then. And then uh, we can just focus solely on that. Uh, but yeah, um, this bit obviously goes up to meet the top of your platform on the sides uh, make sure you fill them in with coal if you've chosen to do so 
and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so that's one side done. And we're going to come over and do the other side, so it's the same thing. Uh, three blocks on each side. Oh, there she goes with the chair again. <laughs> you did that in the last Just video. Just carry it on, it's okay, <laughs> the viewers don't mind. Oh, God. Just carry it on. You're throwing me off. Right, just make sure you connect that in onto the, the, the walls at the side. Um, this one, I think, I think, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I put it in in the video. It doesn't look like I do. Um, but we're going to put that pump room in, in every single, um, boiler room. Um, so you can either wait till I do that probably in the last part, which I think, if this is part seven, I think part ten is going to be the final, uh, boiler room. So in part 10, we'll come back through all the boiler rooms and we'll just put that tiny little pump room in. Um, but you can do it now or you can wait until part 10 and we'll just come back through and do it all. And then that should be the boiler rooms completely done with. Um, so yeah, bring these up to height. Put your coal in before you finish it off. And I'm just going to speed this bit up again. Okay, so now we're going to get on with the lower platforms. I've told Sarah to keep very still in that chair now, so there's no more interruptions. Or so you think. Mm. Alright, no, we put the fence over the top first, all the way around. And I'll try not to use a ladder as a fence in this one as well, like I did in the last one. But to be fair, it was like, what, six o'clock in the morning? Something like that. Uh, once you've done this bit, then we'll get on with the lower platforms. Right, so <clears throat> your second block in is where you put your first ladder, and it's eight high. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. I'll do the same on the other side as well. <clears throat> right, and then your lower platform's too thick, like usual. <clears throat> Oh, we have just had a good old giggle what about that chair, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear, funny. We, we listen back and it does look, it does sound really funny. Like, I swear down, it was the chair. <laughs> I'm not bothered <coughs> if anybody thinks it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hell. Right, so once you've done your fence pits, um, get your ladder again and just take it up to the top platform. So that's that side done. We're just going to do exactly the same on the other side now. Your platform's too thick. So I know by this point these um, boiler rooms are getting a bit repetitive, um, but they do need to go in. Uh, we'll be done with them very shortly. Thought I was gonna do the ladder as the fence bit again then. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully there's no power cuts or anything like that for us. Uh, we do live in the north of England, so we should be okay. I think it's, uh, the, there's a red warning for south, isn't there? Mm -hmm. For the the wind and stuff. 
Uh, hopefully we'll be okay up here. Right, so that's them done. So now we're going to plan out where the boilers go. So from your first block in front of your door, it's one, two, three, four, then one left, and then, well it's two left actually, isn't it? And then you place your three, one, two, three, four, five. Five gap, and then place your three down. And back to your first boiler, it's one, two, three, four, five, six gap, and then on the seventh, do your three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh block, do your three again. One, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, you put your three in for your last boiler. <clears throat> I think I think they're eighteen long. Yep, so it is nineteen long. Uh we're just gonna do the first boiler like usual and then I'll fill in the rest off camera. So it's the same design. There's one out and then another one out and bring it up by another two. There we go. And then one back in. And then three on the top. Then one out. Three down. And then one back in. It's exactly the same on the other side. <clears throat> mm. Pretty much should be becoming experts yourselves at making these boilers, to be fair, we've done that many of them now. Just some of them are longer than other ones. That's the only reason why I build one <clears throat> in each video. Just in case there is a tiny difference. So we'll just fill the front in. Put your upside down stairs there. Make, make a hole for your campfire to go into. So now you can get your campfire out and put it in the little holes that were made inside. I'm glad they added campfires to Minecraft because I uh, wouldn't have been able to do this if they hadn't. I don't think there would have been anything else we could have used. Uh, just fill it in like usual. Might be better to do the side closest to the wall first. Just to make it a bit easier for yourself. So yes, when uh, we've got through all these boiler rooms, uh, me and Will will be getting on with the reciprocating engine room. Um, so I dare say part 11 is probably going to be quite difficult. Try to make it as easy as possible, but I've been dreading doing that room, and so as well. See, I was dreading that staircase more than anything, that spiral staircase, um, more than anything, but Will's really dreading the reciprocating engine room. So I've been getting in the comments um, things like uh, about the pump room and stuff like that. Um, if people want to mention stuff that might have been missed out from our design, um, we're not against adding extra stuff in. In fact, if anything, it makes it even more correct than it, it currently is. Um, we'll always add stuff in if we can, if it doesn't mess with the design too much. Um, it's like we're going to go through all the boiler rooms when we put them all in and make sure that there's a pump room in every single one. <clears throat> I'm not sure why we didn't put them all in originally. 
Um, maybe we didn't think that they were in every room, but yeah, we don't mind adding stuff in. If you want to leave something in the comments saying that, you know, there should have been this or that in there. So now you can get your buttons out, you can get your dark ones out, depending on what you're using. And uh, some lighter ones. I mean, I don't, I don't know, you might be using dark buttons all over your boiler. <clears throat> I just like the lighter ones because they stand out a bit more. But it depends entirely on the blocks that you're using. Another thing I tend to keep forgetting as well is to put the trap door on the opening of the boiler. So make sure you don't forget that either. Yeah, see I didn't add them in again. <laughs> and then just finish it off with carpet. And then we'll be done with the, the first boiler. And obviously, I'll build the rest off screen like usual. Maybe if you're using mods, you might be able to make these boilers look more realistic to what they actually look. Um, I didn't want to use mods or anything in the tutorial or even the building of the Titanic itself. Um, because not everyone has access to them, not everybody wants them. Um, so we wanted to make one where everyone could just dive straight into it, pretty much. <clears throat> but um, if you do use mods, um, there's probably all sorts of different things that you can do. If you want to use this as just a bit of a blueprint, that's fine. Um, but make sure, you know, if you do a YouTube video of it, make sure you tag me in it so I can have a look what you've done and stuff. Alright, so now we're done with that, I'll just make a cut in the video and when I come back uh, the rest of my boilers will be in, uh, make sure that all yours are as well and then we'll carry on with the rest of the video. Okay, so now all that's done, um, before we do anything else we're going to make the holes in the coal bunker walls directly in front of your boilers, don't forget your trap door. I'm going to do that all the way around the room, like usual. <clears throat> I mean, I know like these, these rooms are very similar to each other, um, but I've done a tutorial for each, just for tiny little changes, really, just in case like the boilers in one room are longer than the other, stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to cause any confusion, so I've just done a video for each, but they are very much samey samey but we'll be we'll be done with them soon okay so now that we've done that I think it is on with the funnel casing now <coughs> or you can place your doors in that's what we did next just tidy this bit up Get your pressure plates down if you are using the iron door. Just finishes that off nicely. I don't know what happened with my mouse there, but it just kind of spazzed out a little bit. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately, actually. I think I might need a new one. I've had a lot of use out of this one, to be fair. I've had my money's worth. And you can place it on that bit as well. There we go. Right. Now it's on with the the funnel casing now. So that was on that side. So we don't put it on this side. We put it on the other side. I think I uh, I'll get, must have got confused a little bit at this point, <laughs> but no, it is it is on this side, 
So let's just count it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And on the twentieth block, do five backwards like this. And then it wants to be eight long in total. And then just bring it back in. Bring it up by one more. And then extend it downwards by another three. Um, they may look a little bit unfinished currently in each of the boiler rooms for now, uh, but we will come back and tidy them up. We'll do that when we finish off probably the last boiler rooms when we put in the pump rooms and stuff like that we'll finish these off nicely as well so there should be five down in total and that's the funnel casings done so now we're going to get on with the part work okay so on to the final bit now we're going to do the part work so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the ninth block, do two like that. And then just make sure it's the same on each boiler. So then we've marked all them out then. You don't have to worry about it. I don't know why my game was doing that a lot when I was doing this. It was just placing blocks and then disappearing. So coming back to the middle one, raise it up by two and then one on the top and like usual that one just goes straight forward into the funnel. And this is the bit that we're going to tidy up that I mentioned earlier. We will come back and tidy all those up because they do look a little bit unfinished at the minute. So two up and one on the top like usual. Three back. Three left, three back, four left, one back and one left. Pretty simple enough to, to follow along really, even on screen. There's no particular design to these to be honest, you could do your own design on them if you wanted. So three back. Three to the right, three back, four to the right, one back and one right. So raise it up by two, one on top. Five back, four left, two back, and like I said, I mean, you could just pretty much do your own design on this, but I'll stop it in places like that so that you can see exactly what's been done. If you feel like you could make them look better, feel free. So five back. Four right, should be two back, yep, 
and four right. Two back and then just lead it up and connect it up from there. And that's the part work done. Feel free to pause it here if you want to just make sure you've done it right. Or well, like I said, you could do your own design if you liked. So that's it for part seven. Uh, part eight, we'll be carrying on with uh, another boiler room. Um, I promise we are nearly done with the boiler rooms now. So thank you for watching and I hope to catch you in the next part.